Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily Englisher. This week is Grammar Week. Today, gradable and ungradable adjectives. What's an adjective? An adjective modifies a noun. A red dog. Red is an adjective. This dog is red. Cute. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Small. Soft. Witty. Smart. Intelligent. Sexy. All adjectives. Adverbs modify verbs and other things. Rover dances beautifully. Adverbs often end in ly. Adverbs modify verbs and they also modify other adverbs and adjectives. Very useful. Very is an adverb. It's also an adjective, but I'm talking about the adverb. Very can be used before adjectives, adverbs, and determiners. For example, Rover is very beautiful and Rover dances very beautifully. The adverb very is useful and it's used a lot before adjectives. Ooh, it's very cold. Mmm, this is very tasty. Mmm, he's very sexy. I'm very happy. But the adverb very can't be used before all adjectives. You can't say something is very awful or very impossible. What? Try and think of adjectives in two groups. One is gradable and the other is ungradable. For example, temperature. Hot and cold are gradable. Gradable means there are different levels. It's hot. Oh, it's very hot. It's a bit cold. It's quite cold. Oh, it's very cold. The ungradable adjectives are often the extremes. The extremes of hot are, for example, sizzling, roasting, boiling, searing, scorching, scalding, blistering, sweltering. They're all like the maximum hot, so they can't be any more or any less, so you can't use very with these words. An example for cold is freezing. Freezing is ungradable. You can't use very with freezing. I think it helps to look at a list, like in this book. With these gradable adjectives, you can use these adverbs, and with these ungradable adjectives, you can use these adverbs. I'm going to make some sentences using words from here. So from the gradable adjective box, important, with important, I can use words from here. So I can say, this is extremely important. This is fairly important. This is really important. This is very important. Now an ungradable adjective, useless. This is absolutely useless. This is completely useless. This is totally useless. There's a video on YouTube called Dictionary of Jack Unique. It's by Jack Daniels. And he says that you can't say something is very unique. Which is actually wrong, but the video is comedy. It's not an English lesson, so it doesn't really matter. Actually, you can say something is very unique, but it depends on what you mean by unique. Unique, like many words, has more than one meaning. Number one. Being the only one of its kind, for example, everyone's fingerprints are unique. For this meaning, unique is ungradable, so you can't say very unique. This is the meaning that Jack's talking about in his video. But the second meaning of unique is very special or unusual, for example, a unique talent. For this meaning, unique is gradable, so you can say very. This dictionary has both the Oxford Dictionary and the Oxford Learner's Dictionary, which is really useful. The Learner's Dictionary explains things like this. See, it says you can use absolutely, totally, or almost with unique in this meaning. You can use more, very, etc. with unique in this meaning. And my final tip, this is very useful, so it's my aim, please. There's one word which is in both of these boxes that is really. So if you're confused, just use really for everything. No worries. Kia ora, this is Dick News. A high school student in New Zealand received his national examination paper back last week with the words, you useless sack of poo, written on it. An investigation into who wrote the comment is now underway. Last week, high school students in New Zealand got their national exam papers back. A 17-year-old Christchurch student opened the envelope to find You useless sack of poo written on one of his papers in blue felt pen. One of his classmates had Good one, Dick written on his paper. New Zealand Post delivers the papers to the students. They suspect one of their temporary staff may be to blame. An investigation is underway. And that was Stick News for Monday the 29th of January. Kia ora.
noticed some mysterious things in the snow today. At first I thought it might have been aliens. <laughs> Really? Why? Why did they stop teaching it? When did you study English grammar? Was it difficult? Wow, you even remember the colour. I think there are a lot of people in New Zealand who don't know what an adjective or adverb is. My generation didn't really study English grammar. My parents' generation did that. I don't know, I guess somebody decided that it wasn't important to learn. I studied French at high school and we had to study English grammar before we could understand French grammar. Yeah, my teacher used to get really frustrated because we didn't know anything about grammar and he made us buy this blue book called English Grammar for Students of French. Yeah, the book was really interesting, so I spent all summer studying it. The test was hard. Very. When I saw the lion, I was terrified. Absolutely. These instructions are complicated. Very. I was disappointed. Very. She was devastated when she found out. Absolutely. And that was the Daily Englisher. See you tomorrow.